Welcome all. Most productive non-pharmaceutical interventions against COVID-19 infections. What are shown by research studies? Hey everybody. I am Edwin Williams. My endeavor is to explain within a few minutes complex research and scientific works in very simple language so that everybody can easily understand it. A study on 1,280 COVID-19 patients compared with more than that number of control participants matched in age and sex by epidemiologist Dr. J. Linwood and his team in the University of California at Berkeley reported. Face masks are most productive in specific circumstances such as 1 exposure to COVID-19 patient that lasts more than three hours two, that takes place outdoors. These studies co-authored Dr. Andrejko in MedRx for October 2021 says that non-pharmaceutical interventions such as physical distancing, keeping interactions outdoors and wearing masks in fact, help to prevent SARS-CoV-2 transmission. The earlier reported studies by Dr. Abaluk J. et al. and Dr. Bungard H. have provided evidence that face masks help to protect against COVID-19. But the study from Renward et al. shows that masks are beneficial even when other measures such as safe distance are not in use. The, this team studied the participants between February and September 2021. Each patient was matched with age and sex in at least one controlled patient and were tested negative during the study period. Participants who were exposed to COVID-19 patients provided details of their encounters like settings and duration. It was found that the participants who were not fully vaccinated had a greater chance of infection when exposed to patients indoor for more than three hours. Participants who used a mask had lower risk rate than those not wearing masks. Dr. Christian Matuschuk et al. reported in August 12, 2020, European Journal of Medical Research that the use of face masks prevented people from being infected. In Germany, the 2020 infection was controlled by the use of face masks as per the German constitutional law, which states that protections must be easily provided to every citizen in this country. Another study by doctors C. Reina McIntyre and A. A. Chuktai published in PubMed 2020 reports that 19 of the randomized control trials showed masks appear to be effective with or without hand hygiene and both together were more effective. Randomized control trials in healthcare workers showed that Respirators, if worn continually during a shift, were effective, but not if worn intermittently. Masks as source of control may be more important during COVID-19 pandemic in universal community as well as healthcare settings, as reported in International Journal of Nursing Studies, 2020. Encounters of people who wore masks and were fully vaccinated had additional protection than vaccinated only people. Dr. Lenward and his team observed that masks provided greatest protection for encounters more than three hours with persons of the same family. Masking alone did not show a clear benefit when personal contacts with the same family COVID-19 patients are concerned. Some scientists are not entirely convinced of the result of the study. Dr. Natalie Dean, a biostatistician of Emory University in Atlanta, U.S., 
thinks that the non-pharmaceutical interventions may be beneficial, but the estimated size of the benefit does not appear to be significant. Dr. Dan Brown, a biostatistician in University of Iowa, also is not impressed with the result. Dr. Christine Domingo, an epidemiologist and physician at the University of California in San Francisco, observes that the study was done before the rampage of highly transmissible Delta variant. Although she appreciates the inclusion of matching control in the study, according to her, the study fills a gap in the effectiveness of non-pharmaceutical intervention which could help to frame policies to control the virus. Dr. Christian in MedRx4 holds that non-pharmaceutical interventions reduce the likelihood of SARS-CoV-2 infection following high-risk exposures. Thank you all for watching and listening. Please subscribe, like and share my channels. See you soon with another interesting and easy to understand scientific and research work. Bye till then. Take care always. Your comments and suggestions are appreciated. Thank you.